Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Martin's Science Corner. Uh, so today I wanted to take a look at our seed and bean sprouts that we planted or put in a, a jar with a wet paper towel uh, a few days ago. So I have a couple of jars here. Um, this is the one that we planted together and you can see there's starting to be some growth there. And then this is the one, I actually planted this a few days before. Um, and you can see there's quite a bit more growth. Now this one that I did before, this just has the wheatgrass seeds. Um, and then this one that we did together, uh, just as a reminder, it has the wheatgrass seeds plus some red beans and some garbanzo beans. So you can see that there's quite a bit more growth in uh, this one, probably as, as you would expect. So let's see, um, let's take a closer look at what we are looking at in here. And again, depending on the, the beans or the seeds that you uh, put in your jar, um, they might be at about at this point or they might be just starting to sprout. And we'll look at some of the beans in here that are just starting to, to sprout as well. So um, I'm gonna take these out of the jar and we'll look at them really up close here in just a moment. But before we get to that point, let's take a bigger picture look at, uh, at what we see. So in the, in the video where we planted these together, um, or put them in the jar together, um, I asked you to notice some things or try to, try to notice some things as these were coming out of the seeds. And so one of those things was uh, in what direction are the sprouts going? So if you look closely, um, you can see that uh, the green ones, the green sprouts, which in this case would be the grass blades, um, are going upwards. Uh, and of course, you can guess why that would be. Um, you probably know that plants generally need sunlight to grow. Um, so it would make sense that they're trying to get closer to the sun. They're growing towards the sun so they could get more food. So that's how they make the food. And then if you look closely there, and you can probably see this in your own jar if you have one, um, you can see that the roots are going down. And that's also what we would expect. The roots are going down into the soil so that they can uh, get water from the soil and other nutrients. And we'll look at those up close here too in just a moment. Now also if you look closely, um, you can see that all of those things are sprouting out of the same part, at least in these wheatgrass seeds and in the beans too. They're coming out of the same part of the bean or the seed. Um, so that tells us that there's really kind of one spot where everything sprouts out of. And so I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so uh, let me know in the comments if you notice anything else in the jar. And then we will take a closer look at these guys under, sort of under a microscope. And so I've taken out three different seeds here. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see when we're up close here because it's not going to focus very well. But you can see these are three of the seeds. And so this is the smallest one. Um, there's a penny for, to see kind of what size they are together. Um, and you can see, so there's the seed, the main part, of course. And then on the little roots, the white parts, you can see some really, really fine, really small kind of hair-like structures. And those are gonna come out of the roots to help it soak up as much water as possible. So as you can probably imagine, sometimes there isn't much water in the ground and it wants to get as much water as possible and it's gonna use these little threads to, to do that. Um, now, if you watch the chameleon lettuce video, uh, we talked about how, um, how a plant uh, sort of uses its capillaries, was the new word of the day, capillaries to sort of like a straw, suck up the water from the ground. And that's what each of these little threads is going to do. It's going to suck up that water from the ground so it can go up the main parts of the, of the root and then into the seed and then up into the blades of grass or the stalk or the trunk of the tree or whatever type of plant it is. Now here's one that's a little bit bigger, a little bit older, so you can see the stalk there is a little bit longer. The roots are a little bit longer. And then here's one that was in the jar that I planted uh, first, and you can see it's quite long. The blade of grass is quite long. Oops, there's two in there. 
quite long. And then the roots are quite long as well, but they are a little bit less, uh, we could say hairy, they're less hairy. So, really interesting stuff. Uh, but again, you can see they're all kind of coming out of one point, a little, a little bit hard to see, easier to see in that one. Um, but I'll, pu I'll put these up, uh, I'll bring these back up to the main screen when we get back over to the corner. All right, see you over there. All right, welcome back to the corner. Uh, I hope you found that microscope demonstration interesting, and I hope that you could sort of get a sense of what was going on there. Um, just so you can see the size of what we, were, um, what we were looking at over there, these are the three seeds that I had under the microscope. There you go, you can see that. And there's that penny, just so you can really see how big, uh, big those were that we were looking at. Um, so you can see those, those little hair-like structures on the roots are really, really small. It's really hard to see, actually, with, with your um, just normal eye. You can, you can see it, but not, not a whole lot of detail. But see if you can find those. All right, so what else can you do with these seeds? Well, you can keep them in your jar, watch them grow, see how long they last, see if they sprout anything else interesting. Uh, you can also use uh, an empty egg carton. These are great, um, great places to start your seeds. And so in each little section, you can either put, you know, maybe a piece of paper towel or some dirt even would be, would be better um, in each little section. And you can fill them with different types of seeds. You can try some seeds that you might get from, uh, from some, some vegetables that you're cooking um, or, uh, you know, whatever you might find, uh, other types of beans. Um, but again, if you have dirt, if you can go outside and get some dirt, that would be uh, even better. Because of course, plants need nutrients and vitamins too. And there's not a whole lot of that in paper towels. So um, those are some other things you can try. And uh, I would love to see what you are uh, experimenting with. So feel free to send me an email, mrmartinsciencecorner at gmail.com. Uh, comment below. Uh, tell me what you're what you're experimenting with, or if you're in Miss Bomani or Mr. Alonga's class, you can reach me on Class Dojo. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for spending some time with me today. See you next time.